So that's generally my team that I'm running right now. So uh, two tank, four gunners, two healers. Now I'm getting through the base all right. There's a good like 30 seconds left. But as the defenses start to upgrade, it's going to get harder and harder. Once people start upgrading their combiners to level 25, it's going to get harder and harder. Once people start doing time traps, it's going to get harder and harder. So, I thought to myself, how can I get more DPS in this team? And so, the big answer is going to one healer. But that worries me, because obviously the damage is going to get increased as well. So, I thought, mm, I'm, I, don't, I don't mind the fact going to one healer. But I need another option of healing. And so, I mentioned one earlier, which was Hoist. And I think Hoist is a good option. So, if we look at Hoist. So... Hoist is good in terms of uh, health. So he gives them, it's about 500 health, I think, at max uh, for 10 seconds. So it's about 5k healing uh, for 5 plus 3. So for 5 ability points, it gives you 5k health. But it also makes you about 8% faster. So that's a good speed up. A bit like Wheeljack. But I think it's a better option. I think it's a better option than Hoist. This guy's a bit of a sleeping giant, really. And yes, for a while, and I've been pondering on this guy for a long time and thought. Why do I not like this bot? Why is this bot not my wall team? I've tried it a few times and gone, it just doesn't work. I just don't, I think it's just too expensive. And recently, it's had a massive cost reduction. And I think this went under the radar a bit. And people were looking at other cost reductions and going, yay, that bot and this bot. And people didn't really think about this bot, really. And that is Sandstorm. Because it's had a cost reduction to 3 plus 2. For a supply airdrop and toxic rush. So for three ability points, he'll do four and a half K healing. So that's already similar to what um Hoist will do. But the difference with this is for six ability points, he'll do another four and a half K. So for six ability points, you're getting nine K healing. That can take your bots from the brink. Now, if you don't use them both at once, don't want, to, don't want to combo it, then you can use just that once. And then for five ability points, you can use it again. So in for eight ability points, that's still 9k healing for eight ability points. Oh, and, and yes, I know Hoist is a four star before we start saying that. But that's at around, like I said, 5k, but it's five plus three, so that's eight. So that's 13 ability points. So 13 ability points for 10k. Or 9.5k thereabouts. And Sunstorm is just 8. And I think that is absolutely incredible. And I think this is the guy that's going to be in my war team more. And now you've got a Toxic Rush, which is considered Acid. Then that combos even more with Fire. And increases damage done. So, I'm, I'm thinking that this guy's had two buffs in close proximity. The acid buff. So the toxic rush is now acid. And the cost reduction. I think this guy's going to be an absolute monster. And then because you've got an extra bot in there rather than healing. You've got that extra DPS. And I'm going to test this guy in the test server and see how good he is. Because with Minerva's tower. Doing 685 health. So you know in an area. A 5 plus 5, once you get to 2 uses at 10 ability points, use Sandstorm instead, make sure the 2, having that extra DPS, you know, having maybe a trip up in the team as well, to increase your DPS, big fan of trip up at the minute, I think it could be a really viable option, I think it could be an absolutely amazing bot, and again, you know, people are saying about Hoist as a 5 star, we want Hoist as a 5 star, well, we've already got this guy, We've already got Sandstorm in the game. And a triple changer as well. Honestly, guys. This guy could be a monster. I really do. And I'm so, so happy that, uh, you know, Fabian has sort of made these changes this bot. I, I said just a cost reduction to the Toxic Rush, not the healing. But it's done both. And I'm quite pleased with the changes. And I think this bot could be hugely better in the meta. I really do. So it's a bit to be seen, but you know, with 21k health and 700 DPS, you know, 
You're talking the same as... I think it's more than Gunners. So, yeah. Same DPS as Gunner, but more health. And Jetfire. So, yeah. Slightly less DPS, but, you know. Hot Rod. More health than Hot Rod at 21k. You know, a bit less than Red Alert. I'm trying to find a bot that sort of compares at 21k health. That's only 57. But you get the idea where I'm going. More HP than than tracks, more DPS. I think it'd be a really good option. I really do, and I'm gonna really test this guy. And add in trench foot because it's acid in an area. Acid add in trench foot that does uh you know extra damage to fire acid EMP or speed reduction. You know. Do I go for five star trench foot? Do I take the dive? You know, I always said that. You know, I'll never go for trench foot. But with Sandstorm, I might. You know. Got plenty of pulls. Trench foot is in batch two, is it? Yeah. I think trench foot might be a viable option. I still want some good combats waiting for them to split this up and I want nice stick and I want trip up, uh, definitely. Um But yeah. If I I'll pull twice on that batch and I get those two I get nightstick when they split the batches nightstick and trip up I might actually go back and go for trench foot on sunstorm I think it'd be a really good combo you're getting the extra DPS you get through bases faster you're getting the healing you're getting the um, acid to combo I mean every sort of part of him is sort of screaming this bot is going to be Massively useful in the meta. Acid. Healing. DPS. More HP. I, I can't wait to try my, my teams. I'm going to try some untrapped wars. Uh, and try uh, one healer. With Sandstorm. And sort of see how it goes. And look, some people talk about split walks. Things like that. And It's interesting. Hopefully there could be some new tactics in the game. You know. And some new meta bots. You know. And I'm hoping that the apes will do this to more bots, maybe give them a cost decrease and make them more viable so that they bring them out, you know, back into the meta again, out from obscurity. That's what I'm hoping. But, uh, yeah, super impressed with the change to Sandstorm and looking forward to trying them out in some top-level wars. And I will keep you guys updated on uh, how that goes. And, yeah, excited because I've, I've had this guy for ages. I've had this guy for absolutely ages, leveled him up, thinking it'd be good and never quite been there, never quite hit the meta. But excited to see what he does now. Excited to see how he goes. So, yeah.